how y'all doing? And this video is gonna be about old Michael Eric Dyson. He didn't go sit his behind down somewhere. You know, he thought he was gonna be like the Rakim of spitting wax, poetic as a writer and a wordsmith. But he didn't turn into another tap dancing. He might be hanging out with Rail Shaw Sharpton or some of them. Most Turkey always used to be on Bill Maher's show all the time, always wax and poetic. He writing for the New York Times trying to say that Kanye, Ye, and Kyrie Irving black anti-Semitism. He need to go somewhere and sit his behind down with that jive talk. There is nothing anti-Semitic about neither one of those cats. I'm not even a Kanye West fan like that. I can't condone him personally, and I always thought he was overrated as an artist, but on personal side, I know he was tap dancing selectively and trying to, you know, shuffle and what have you. But what he said about Jewish control in Hollywood was spot on. And what Kyrie Irving was saying, coming into your own, had nothing to do, was nothing anti about nothing. But you know who runs and controls everything. And who does Michael Eric Dyson always sit there and prop his legs next to? Bill Maher. Now, Michael Eric Dyson came across, like, I used to read his books and philosophical, and he used big words. He would throw words out there like lifesavers. He could hit and spit and chew. But then over time, especially when Obama got prominent, he started to kind of, like, shuffle a little bit. And then he's shuffling some more. When I see a so-called prominent African-American trying to be a lit lecturer of literature, and try to call out to young African-American men who entrepreneurial businessmen who are rubbing shoulders in corporate world. And Michael Eric Dyson, who can throw the words up against the wall with the best of them, but he ain't hardly talking the same lingo of dollars that Kyrie and Kanye are. One guy in the billions who was before they, they pulled him and Kyrie who generated several hundreds of millions. So these aren't just a couple of brothers who woke up one day and said, oh, Jews own half the stakes or they own the businesses, and I think I'm going to speak on something that I'm not. No, this was well thought out, well planned. The thing is, is that when you speak facts about what you're dealing with business-wise, that's how it is done, you see. Michael Eric Dyson is writing a piece for a whack New York Times. I have no respect for that janky newspaper. I don't care about none of news. Matter of fact, you can do all your writing on your own. You don't have to depend on newspaper for commentary. What are they going to prove? They want to take a Negro that they feel is intellectual enough to their capacity and put them to use as bait against. That's what they do. That's what he's being served as. He isn't as enlightened to pick up on it because he's willingly will be a willing participant to be pimp for the inclusion, thinking he'll get some kind of position or something. Well, see, first of all, Kanye and Kyrie and already, when you're black and you're already part of that corporate America plantation chain and you we're talking millions of dollars, we're talking households worldwide, you ain't been on that level, Mike Eric Dyson. You've been... And households, because you get and speak with your intellect and your professionalism. However, you ain't seen the circles that Kanye and Kyrie have seen. I think people don't understand this. What they're speaking on is who's running the thing. But they also are talking about it from perspective of their question certain ethics, semantics. But you got to remember something. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. These brothers have been where so few have been, economically, psychologically, and where they don't. I mean, Kyrie been in a film. He's had success on and off the court. He's selling shoes. He didn't touch into a lot of conglomerates. And Kanye, I did speaks for itself. So if you're gonna go after him, you better talk that lingo talk. What you're trying to do is appease the man to say, yeah, them boys, they they, they sorry, master. They went too far, and then they somehow haters. They're not haters. They're not haters at all. They question something that 
they wondering about? And then who's controlling and how it is manifest and what it means? They're not haters, not hardly. There's no separatism about them. And even if there were separatism, if you could actually prove that about uh, somebody black, black folks don't own nothing and don't get and don't run anything to have that say. You know when you sign a deal in Hollywood who runs and controls everything. That's what the cats like Eric Dyson are. They're trying to create this false equality. Tell the truth. You got to have a say to have a say. If not, you're just speaking in hot air. And I don't know why anybody would be offended by Kyrie if that was the case. Oh, yeah, because everybody knows they don't own nothing. Black folks don't own nothing, don't work together like that. If they did with all the money that's spent, that'd be a different horse of a color. Imagine if all the people tied their money together with a Tyler Perry and Oprah and Michael Jordan or something and told Jay-Z and, and uh, Puffy... And Master P and them say, hey, let's get on board. Let's put this in. Beyonce, take them. LeBron James, Shaquille O'Neal. Imagine if they all put that money together with them hundreds of millions to billions that they're worth. And they came out and and started something. Could you imagine? That ain't going to happen. That would be Wakanda for real. Then Kyrie and Kanye get in. Kyrie and Kanye, uh, Kanye and Kyrie get on board with all that money in that pot. You take 25 to 40 of the most wealthiest African-Americans and put that together with a Byron Allen or with a Robert Smith. Imagine that. That ain't going to happen. So Michael Eric Dyson is talking points, but he ain't talking facts. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind through. Watch out for another. And please share the video if you want to. And I don't pay Eric Dyson that much attention. Because what he's trying to do is trying to appeal like a model in the window.